Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. So in the last episode, we beat a boss that I was worried about, the Malboro. We managed to knock that beast out of the forest, so to say. Um, then we went to Mars Past, got a new weapon and some armour. And now we can... Oh, we got another Mog Stamp as well. And now we're just exploring... I don't know what's here, but someone was complaining about the ferryman, weren't they? But it doesn't look as though he's home. So we'll, we'll, we'll just leave exit. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to what looks like to be Halloween Town. Uh, the mine of Carthugris. Okay, and uh, we'll enter. I need to somehow get the wind element as well. I, I don't know how to quite do that unless I can find one line around. Because it looks like that next tunnel might be wind. <coughs> when the grandfather of my grandfather's grandfather was still a child, no one in this land challenge the might of the Liltis. They forged weapons of iron to bring the world under their dominion. But eventually the mine was exhausted and the Liltis' unstoppable conquest ground to a halt. The Liltis' ambition vanished along with the iron. They abandoned the mine where monsters now thrive. Abandoned the mine where monsters now thrive. So what we've got goblins and a bomb. Oh look at the little bomb. He looks like um I can't think of his name there. From Howl's Moving Castle. Cathugis Mine. Or is it Catheridge? 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 Uh, I don't know. <coughs> Open treasure chests. Let's go. Oh no, I want to back that. What? Right, so good, I've got the right um, one equipped. Uh, I better have put that Phoenix down for now as well, since. Aha! Oh, one hit. <coughs> oh, wow, okay. That's a oh, stone of cure. That's quite the combo that this staff can do. Nice two hit. Oh, oh, there they do self destruct. I better change that to fire as well, just to be on the safe side. Oh, that's how I do it. I can teleport to um. I know how to do it. <coughs> I can teleport to Bell's uh, thingy with our can't I? River Bell or Bell's River, whichever one it is. See what I want to do. I want to put the um, the chalice on the the, uh, the touchpad thing. Going out the what they call uh, press trap. I know what they're called. I can see it. Touch no. 
something like a touchpad. I know what they've got. I've just got need. Pressure pad. That's the one. Right, so it's, hopefully it's got it's gone back round and it's just come here again. Yes. I feel like I'm playing golf. So then I want to you to drop that mug. Pick that up. Oh wait. Okay, so I don't need to do that then I just <coughs> step on it it seems, okay. Cool cool cool. Cool cool. And then oh! Be useful if I could get some sort of blizzard or ice spell or something, wouldn't it? Oh no, watch out, right? Oh, oh, did it hit me? I think it did. Have I just gone round in a circle? to come up here. <coughs> come on then, Koopa. Let's play your mug. should make up your bloody mind. Come on, Koopo. Right, let's explore the rest of this way first. Oh, hello. Bloody hell, they walked straight into it. What are you? Like some sort of grung, grung knock or whatever. <coughs> That's just a made up word. Oh, crap. Oh, that was lucky. <coughs> that was so bloody lucky. I need to... Uh... There we go. Ha <laughs> My God. Bloody not unless... Oh, he's angry. I wonder if I could hit him with... Well, then that'll mean that'll have to get... Oh, he, he is just stood there, look. Did I even hit him? 
that thing can't even hit anybody. Right? I wish I had some proper magic. Yeah, sure, Mog. Just uh, bear with me while I defeat this. Whatever he is. Got him. Ha! Ah. Could you do that, Mog? Could you have done that? You attain your artifact to shrunk it. Right, so if I press that one there, that's turned that way. Now I've got to run all the way back to the beginning now, haven't I? Still ill. Still got like a flu or whatever it is. I bet Mog's getting sick of his like running back, forward, and backwards. Come on, cool pal. Please tell me it went up for that. Give for some magic. Oh my, this is a bit of a big place. Where's my mind car? Oh, treasure. I have to stay a pink stone of blaze. I don't want to blaze. I need magic. And that's where the boss is there. Or, or that's definitely where I need to go anyway. Oh crap. Can I not jump down? <clears throat> There's even a, another one of those bloody things. Oh, I, did, I have fight. I don't think. It's your turn. No. What do you reckon? Fire! Nope. Fine. Okay. I like how he's chasing me around. Come on, Mug. He's like running after me on the ground floor. It's quite funny, that is. Blizzard. Don't, don't use fire on the bomb. That's it, Mug. Perfect opportunity to do some damage there. Ah! And I missed. And it still hit me. I bet that big guy's got the old uh, stained, stained, obtained a stain of cure, not a stained. I bet the big guy's got the thing in the bob, hasn't he? Where is he? There he is. Mug. Oh, oh, I thought I beat him then. I was about to say two hits from fireworks. <coughs> Fire. Oi, come here. This troll really does absorb damage. There we go. Has this got my tablet? Nope. Oh, he does. 
Aha. Now we can move on. Where is my minecart though? That is the question. Let's go, cool pal. Cool, cool pal. Go pal. Come on. Let's face this boss. It's gonna be like a giant bomb, isn't it? B -b bomb. That's what I need. Blizzard. No, what am I using fire for? Fire. I don't want to use cure, not fire. Cure. And then if I get rid of fire and equip blizzard, that would be useful against the bomb then. I need my mind card, don't I? I don't really believe this. I think I have a thing. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this a mug hole? I think it is, you know. It is. It sounds like one. Oh, it is. Kupo. Hello, Kupo. Uh, please do. Kupo. Okay, Kupo, let me stamp your card. Get out there and find more Kupo. I missed that because Google apparently thought I wanted to uh, start my car. Apparently Moogle activates Google and stamp my card. What kind of means stamp, start your car? Whatever, Trevor. Why do I get the feeling that I'm going to need my minecart? Oh, right. Before. Oh, have I gained an extra heart from somewhere? Sure. I just noticed that I've now got four hearts. Uh, five hearts, sorry. And I thought I only had four. Am I seeing things? I'm being forgetful. Thank you. 
So that's like a big end. Orc King. Okay, I thought I was fighting a bomb. <coughs> Never mind. The Orc King will do. What's he got? A hammer and an axe. Oh crap. There's a little orc. Big orc. Little orc. Welcome to Wakate. Okay, so Blizzard doesn't really do it. Huh? That same as an attack. Wow, he hurts you, doesn't he? Good lord. Oh, is he immune? I think he's immune to thunder, you know. No thunder seems to work. Although, I think they all kind of did the same, didn't they? Or oh, is this getting more powerful the more I use it? Hit me, crap, crap, crap. I couldn't have just stepped a little bit further forward. I think he was doing like some sort of super move on T or something. I got him.
new diary entry. Yes. Hail Moogle at your service, Kupo. 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 What's he saying now? Who's saying what now? Here you go, Kupo. <coughs> I'm over. Thank you. It's a letter from Gimli's brother, Ganu. Another one? My bad. What? Say, do you remember that frothy milk you were looking for before you left? To tell the truth, I drank it all. I'm really sorry. Here, I'm sending you your favourite... Uh, yeah, your favourite snack, so forgive me. From Ganu. Potatoes. Potato strapped apple, yes? Uh, you can't fool me. Uh, I'm going to put you... Send an item... I'm going to send him an apple pack. <laughs> nah, I'll send him. I'm going to send him some fish. Maybe he likes some fish. Oh, look how happy he is. What did I send him last time? I forgot. I've got your reply, Kupo. Good one, Kupo. So long, Kupo. Bye, Kupo. That's what the Earth Pendant is. Uh, defense magic. I think I'm going to go for the gain another heart. So I don't know how often they come along, so it's probably for the best. Diary from year. Oh, we've finished our first year, haven't we? The morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself. For the journey ahead. There was a field along <coughs> the main road where I decided, you know what, I'll let it all just. There was a field along the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise tomorrow. Tomorrow I set out in search of Murrah. Not far from the village, someone called to me. The man introduced himself as Sol Ratch, leader of the caravan from Alphitaria. It seems that news of my caravan had already reached them. They showed me much kindness, and a Moogle named Stiltskin gave me a lesson in combat. You know what, I'm going to skip this because we've read it all, so there's no point reading it all. Oh, I can press X. Tip is caravan level 2. The Miasma Stream, level two. So, where are Tipia Pensulia, uh, Iron Mine Downs. Ooh, Goblin Wall. We haven't been there yet, have we? Or have we? I don't remember Goblin Walls. Still no game, um, my other character. Ooh. Come back home and show us your smile once in a while. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here now. Uh, it's a nice way to end this episode, finishing our first year. Um, where's Dan What did you say? Oh, it's you. You who stole my milk. Damn you, Salazar. Um, yeah, I think it's a great place to end the first episode, finishing year one. Oh, Muggle fell over. Poor Muggle. Um... And then I guess in the next episode, we'll start with our year two. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you all have enjoyed this one. If you have, please do leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with all future episodes. And I will see you all in... Oh, no, I won't. Well, how was your first year out there? Before you set out again, there is something I must tell you. Be sure to come back, even if you can't fill your chalice with Merlin. There was once a young fool who sought to cleanse the world of miasma. Now miasma remains while nobody knows what's become of the boy. Every one of us is bound to fate. Straying from your destiny will only invite danger. Remember these words. You must return to Tipia. Now, farewell. Is that what became of the Black Knight then, do you reckon? First year ends. We've, let's just read. We've read Mushroom Forest. 
The mine of Cuthridges is a relic of the age of L Liltian reign. Orcs rule it now. As I ventured deep into the mine, I kept jumping at my own shadow, cast on the walls by the flickering lamps overhead. I found the Orc King waiting for me in the deepest caravan cavern within. After my victory, I collected a drop of myrrh. With my first journey behind me, my caravan has finally come home. Before setting out, I had heard only stories of the world outside. Once out there, I found excitement, surprise, and a bit of hardship. Whenever I close my eyes, I, I vividly remember all my adventures as I search for Mur. Tonight is the festival. It's time to celebrate. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you all have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please do leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with all future episodes. And we shall see you all in the next year. Do take care. Bye.